Yo, it's Sunday on Transy's channel, my name is Zach and this week's topic is role models, well, mentoring but I guess role models to a certain extent um, so role models to me the people I look up to who I aspire to be like for cer certain qualities they possess or that I identify with because of um, an aspect of their life for example um, I identify with Richard Branson because he's dyslexic and so am I and yeah moving on because me talking about Richard Branson isn't really gonna help you guys um, which is also mentoring um, because that's why a lot of people on this channel and people generally in the trans community are making YouTube videos as they act like sort of like mentors to viewers watching these videos. Um, so going back to my role models, um, if you are British or from Australia you may have heard of the documentary series My Trans Summer um, which featured seven trans people coming together at the weekends over one summer in 2011 um, to be part of this series where they stayed in this house um, and just sort of socialised and spoke about sort of their lives and how it was affected being, being trans and just it was kind of cool um, if you haven't seen it I recommend you check it out um, like I said it was British program but it was also aired in Australia I don't know if it was aired in the US but if you can watch it yeah it's kind of kind of interesting because it's sort of like the first sort of thing of its kind really besides Big Brother because it's kind of Big Brother Big, Big Brother-esque but mm. The people on this show, um, there were three trans guys and four trans women, um, all of different ages, all of different backgrounds, walks of life, um, different uh, religions, for example, one of the trans guys called Max, um, he's a Jewish background and uh, he is quite religious in that sense, um, so for me that was really cool to see someone in the in the show who was both trans and religious because I often feel that that's not shown enough um, portrayed enough um, and then you've got um, Lewis who was sort of like the macho in a way if you will um, sort of tougher muscular um, works out has a beard and so I, I didn't identify with him too much but I kind of do now because he and the uh, the last trans guy in the show, Fox, um, they are now making uh, their own documentaries, um, which are now on YouTube, so check that out, My Generation, um, and one of the short films was aired on the BBC, and is still available on the BBC iPlayer, also called My Generation, so if you're in the UK, check it out. Um, but this guy, who was also working the documentaries, Fox, um, at the time he was quite early on in his transition. Um, I think he identifies as genderqueer. So it was kind of nice to have this mix of identities and personal beliefs and backgrounds all coming together in one house. Um, and so for that reason, I sort of identified with them all at different levels and for different reasons. And then for trans women and I really identified with one of them. Her name was Sarah, still is Sarah. Um, and she wasn't out at sort of to many people I don't think, definitely not to her family. So I really connected with her for that reason. Um, and it was sort of the first thing I'd seen on TV um, that had really shown this sort of topic of gender and trans people. Um, so for me it was really quite fantastic to see this on TV uh, because it was 2011 so I, was, I think I was about 17 uh, I'm 19 now um, so that was really cool to see but other areas um, where I have role models uh, sort of possibly more well known or yeah more well known is Lana Wachowski of the Wachowski's, Wachowski siblings uh, directors of The Matrix and more 
recently Cloud Atlas and I first saw her I think probably in the news when it was announced that she you know come out as trans but then I watched her acceptance speech for receiving an HRC award that was on I saw that on YouTube and literally bawled my eyes out at that um, really really connected and identified with the stories that she told during her speech about herself um, discovering who who she is and why she felt like certain felt at certain times in her life and I seriously really connected that especially when she's telling the story about um, being at school and lining up and seriously I just identified with that so much and I still do so she's sort of one of the biggest role models I have now um, although I totally respect their wish for privacy um, and sort of not wanting that sort of famous life um, but anyhow she's, yeah it's one of the biggest role models I have especially because um, they're film directors and that's something I'd like to go into and I think that's another reason why I identify with Fox and Lewis because of the gender but also the, the filmmaking side of things um, but secondly I just want to talk about um, role models from real life and I do think it's important that people aren't just looking up to the people who are in the media and sort of celebrities and that kind of thing but also the people around us so obviously there's YouTube and I've already mentioned YouTube but it's so fantastic me being on this channel when actually one of my biggest role models was on this channel uh, Kipling um, I used to watch every single one of his videos as soon as they came out I was like ah oh, because they were, those videos were probably one of the earlier videos I started watching and how I found myself watching this channel was through Kipling's videos and I identified with him on so many levels um, and just loved the way he could easily speak about certain topics and his use of language and words and communicating his feelings and yeah so for those reasons they are my three biggest role models who you guys will possibly know about but also then I have a role model from my own personal sort of everyday life. Her name is Claire and um, she's trans, but um, she's had, you know, she struggled in her early life. And I really respect and admire how she's come to be where she is now and how she's sort of mentored me. Um, I mean, that sounds a bit sort of... The word mentor I'm not too much of a fan of, but I, yeah, I'd say she's definitely mentored me since I was, you know, 16 and working out who I am and just dealing with, you know, all my questions um, that I may have had about being trans um, and sort of coming to terms with that. Um, I'm struggling with words here because Her as a mentor and as a role model, she has been for such a long time, and she takes time out. And I think that's quite a key thing about role models in your real life, that they take time out and they help you as a person. She's been there right from the start, since I started working everything out. Um, she's been there. Um, I sort of, like I said, answered my questions helped along the way and still does still does so often um and really you know i don't know how to sum it up really um but i think that's the important part of being a mentor that's what you kind of do so for me um myself being a mentor I don't consider myself to be a mentor at the moment because I don't feel sort of at that stage where I can say I'm comfortable totally how I how I am and with sort of I wouldn't say I've fully accepted myself yet um, completely um, and I think to be a mentor you need, kind of need to be sort of further along with that um, and actually I was asked by sort of people at my university um, and sort of 
group I sort of hang out with in sort of the LGBT sort of crowd um, if I wanted to be trans officer and I turned that role down um, because I didn't feel I was at a suitable level to sort of help people out although I really want to I feel that my experiences aren't at a level where I could help other people who were also early on like me um, with things so I did turn that role down although I probably will be the LGBT officer um, or at least run for that position so in a way that's also mentoring so people come and talk to me about issues they may have um, be there as you know someone to be supportive or just to listen or to offer advice or even a shoulder to cry on or have a laugh with because laughing is important too so yeah that's my video on role models and mentoring see you next time bye